Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, set your menu, your player menu, to restricted. So we're going to be working within the player properties again um, and what you want to do is click your player. This project in particular doesn't have a menu so we're going to turn the menu on. Alright, so we've got our 10 palettes. And then if we want to make our menu restricted, what we're going to do is go over to menu. And then there's a little cog, a gear icon with additional options. So you're going to click on that. And we have the menu set to free, which means that the user can jump around to any item in the menu um, without having to go in a defined order. You could set it to restricted and what that means is that one, if you check restrict next and previous buttons, um, the next and previous buttons will be restricted until the slide has completed and you can all, your users can only visit a previously viewed incompletion slide. And then you can set the menu to locked, which means that the users uh, can see the menu items, but they can't move around on their own. So all you have to do to set it to restricted is choose restricted and uh, restrict the next and previous buttons if you'd like and click OK. And that's all there is to that. 